Hey, what's up, boys? And Spiribble here. Uh, today, I want to show you guys uh, how to cut trees faster. So, you guys are probably like wondering, like, what cutting trees faster? What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You can actually cut your trees faster uh, using this little trick right there. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So, uh, in a previous video, uh, I made a video on how to block your base pretty much and saying that you need to make your buildings close to your gold mine in order to block access to your gold mine, right? The thing is that uh, on some maps, you have to cut some trees down to be able to build uh, those buildings to be able to block your base, ideally. And on a map like Echo Isles, for example, uh, the trees are like semi like, obnoxious and they literally like block any like graveyard like shop to be able to block your base. So I'm gonna show you guys like how you can cut a tree faster so you can still like just build normally and you don't have to wait late game to be able to build uh, those buildings, right? So let's just jump right into it. So let's say I'm playing Center on Dead, you're not playing uh, Fast DK, you know, Alter Zig, the IP build. So what you do is you take your goal. And this is going to be very important. Like, look at this carefully. What you're going to do is you take your ghoul and you attack a tree and you right click a tree and you attack a tree and you right click a tree and you attack it and you right click it. Right? So what that does is by right clicking the tree, what that does is you're uh, harvesting wood, right? However, when you attack the tree, you're not harvesting any lumber, so it means that your goal can stay a little bit longer on the tree. But it's actually it's not actually longer. It just attacks it like uh, it just attacks the tree more times, so the tree is, ends up going down uh, quicker. And by doing that, you are not uh, harvesting lumber any slower. You're doing an animation cancel pretty much. So look at this once again. You right click the tree, you attack it. You right click. Oh, the tree goes down, and then now you should, you should tree. You go for this one. So what that does is that now you're now opening a space for your shop over there to be able to block your base. Because, you know, I said in the other video that you need to make a shop in a graveyard to be able to do it, but you can't do it right there. So what you do is you do this. You right click, attack, right click, attack, right click, attack, right click, attack, right click, attack. You know, the hotkey is A, so I, I recommend like clicking the hotkey, so we click A. You click on the tree and then you right click it. Uh, it takes a bit of practice, you know, you can easily fuck it up at first. But, uh, you know, it's not slower or anything. This trick is actually used by uh, Happy a lot. You know, I've actually learned some Happy. I don't think Happy invented it or anything, but he's definitely one of the guys that I've seen it, it do it first. So, um, I highly recommend, you know, to cut down trees faster and to make uh, an ideal base. And then what it does is that you'll be basically able to make your graveyard later on on that tree which normally you know there you go and then you make your graveyard and then later on you know you can make your zig there and your bases block you know uh, uh no it, it seems like there's like a space to come but like no it's actually block over there i don't show you guys like on Nitro Niles because Nitro Niles is also one of the like most popular solo maps so i'll show you guys exactly uh how to do it here so you know it's the same thing so imagine you're playing, you know, fast DK like I'm saying. You put your zig over there. You do it. Attack. Right click. Attack. Right click. Attack. Right click. Oh, there you go. Attack. That's how you do it, pretty much. Oh. And you take, you take that ghoul and you put it straight up to that other tree right there. So now by cutting down that tree right there, you'll be able to make a graveyard or a shop. Uh, most likely, it can be a shop or a graveyard, it doesn't really matter. And it's literally the same that applies over here. You do the same. Because what happens is... Let's say you have the goal to do it, so great is good. So if you make your shop over here... You will not be able to make a zig, right? And you, you, need, you need to have your graveyard in a proper position to be able to make that zig and underblock your base. So let's say you make your graveyard here, and then, uh, you know, you do it again. Attack. There you go. Now you can make your shop, and now you can make your zig. This is this is the perfect layout on Nurture Niles. Like, there's nothing better than this. Everyone that does this. Otherwise, you know, there's always going to be a little bit of a space to come into uh, the back of your base, and you don't want that to happen. So this is pretty much how you build an entire RAS on Nortron Isles. Nortron Isles being a pain in the ass to build on. It took me a while to like figure this out and just like get the build proper. 
So uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, that was helpful, you know, it's a little bit of a follow-up to uh, what I did last video on how to block your maze in a more like in-depth way. So um, yeah, I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Much love. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Uh, see ya.